Hi, my name is Nelson. You may know me from my first game. Not long ago, I received an invitation to a competition in which all participants have to prepare magic potions. Unfortunately, I was already late to make the necessary preparations. But my Uncle Sid had the saving idea. And so we set off on our journey. Where did we end up now? We are in Sky City, a cozy air spa. And what we are doing here? You have to get the recipe for a magic potion with which you can win the competition. The ingredients for it as well. What if that's all? Somehow I have the feeling that's not everything. Hi there. It's good to see you again, Nelson. What do I need to get for the recipe? How am I supposed to know that? You don't know what I need for the recipe? Well, you need the recipe first. As far as I know, the lord of this island has a magic recipe in his castle. He's having a big party today, by the way. Where's the catch? Well, he's undead and can't stand living people. Well, if that's all, that should be a piece of cake. Do you know your way around here? There's a store for magic items here, but the prices are quite high. How did Sid actually scrap together the money for the airship? I don't know. I'm not that far into his diary yet. Diary? Yes. You want to take a look inside? Actually, you shouldn't look into someone else's diary. It's your uncle. Okay, give it to me. Patience, Nelson. Not until I get through it. I'll be on my way. Good. Hi. Hello, sir. Why are you on the trip? I'm betting that you will not survive the journey, sir. How nice. Someone has to bury you, sir. Don't you have business elsewhere? Indeed, but I have taken leave. The dead won't complain. You don't happen to have any body parts with Normally I would, but I wanted to travel light this time. So no body parts? Unfortunately no, sir. Damn. So you have to dig someone up yourself. And how I'm supposed to do that? I can lend you my shovel. You have a shovel with you? Of course, sir. After all, I have to bury you somehow. That makes sense. Here you go, sir. Well, I'll be on my way. And keep looking for danger, sir. Unfortunately, I... The belt has become... Hands off, Nell. Why? I still need the... An inkwell will... Hello. Hey, how is my favorite nephew? Favorite nephew? How many nephews do you have? You are the only one. I see. Tell me, what do you actually name the airship? The seagull's shit? I bought the ship though cheaply because it was crept on by seagulls. The previous owner didn't want it anymore. I have to buy some ingredients. Yes, yeah, so? Do you still have some money left, Sid? Nah, nothing left. I have everything where is uh, invested in the airship. Great. But when you go shopping, maybe you can bring me a telescope. I'm afraid mine slipped off the deck. I'll see what I can do. I have to... B I have to get going. See you later, ne The view is fabulous. As long as I do not look down. Only Uncle Sid is allowed. Hey, you there! What's up? Parking here is not for free. Haven't you seen the parking meter? How much does parking cost? Three silver coins for one hour. Three silver coins? 
That's extortionate. This is also an exclusive health resort. Nipper! Mom? Nipper, dinner is ready. Mom, you are not supposed to call me that when I have the armor on. We have talked about it. I am a person of respect. We are having fish sticks. Fish sticks? Awesome. I'm coming, Mom. You got lucky. But don't do anything stupid. <laughs> fish sticks. Three silver coins for one hour? They must be crazy. Hey, wait a minute. There's still a coin in there. Garden center Rapunzel. We have towering plants at a ridiculous price. Household help wanted. Contact me with confidence. Do you have experience in mining ores? If so, we might have a job for you. Mining Bakery Hansel and Gretel. Try off. Empty wine barrels. I guess you have to drink your way through. A glass of. And I thought horses couldn't puke. How much is a vomit? It costs a bag of money. Extortion? Monopoly. Would you like to buy the vomit? Later, maybe. A mortar. Something like this is useful for processing ingredients. How much is the mortar? It costs one gold coin. Would you like to buy it? Later, maybe. A telescope. Uncle Sid asked me to bring him one. I would like to buy the telescope. One silver coin. Thank you. Enjoy the telescope. An eye aquarium. They are not for sale. Too bad. Great, a crystal ball. What can you do with it? You can see through. The Necronomicon. The first edition. Right. A bowl of poisoned apples. An ideal gift for your mother-in-law. Good day. Hi there. What can you buy? Everything you can afford. You have really beautiful... Are you hitting on me, boy? Eh, uh, I mean in the glass on the table, of course. Oh, so that's how it is. So mine aren't pretty enough, huh? No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Haha, <laughs> just... Do you also have vomit medicine? You just mean vomit herb. This is very dangerous and not for beginners. What is so special about the vomit herb? Well, it makes... I figured as much. Well, well, you're a smart one, aren't you? Then tell me how to distinguish it from normal herb. Uh, no idea. Well, not so simple. Do you have such a thing or what? No, but it grows well in the moonlight. Maybe you'll find something on the... See ya. Ciao. This is the smallest market. Hi. Is this the market? Indeed. I'm the only one still selling merchandise. And why only you? Because no one else got a covered wagon on the mountain. And how did you manage to do that? I just inherited it. The covered wagon was here first. The town was built. I see. What are you selling? Body parts. What? Why is that? There must be something you can do with the corpses. Uh, how about burying them? Do you see a graveyard up here somewhere? Okay, I understand the problem. Every now and then I sell my old comics too. Which ones? I still have a first edition of Captain Coleslaw vs. Dog. Cool, how much is that one? I always wanted gold from the mine, but the dwarves are extremely greedy and lazy. I already thought that they are greedy but lazy. As far as I know, they are on strike again because they demand a rate increase. How much do the old... Three gold coins per pe... What? That is usury. Why? There are many people who would like to put a part of the relatives in the living room. Is there nothing cheaper? Some are free. The arm and leg bones no one wants to have. 
Uh, thanks, uh, I guess. I'll have a look around. Have fun! Oh, a sir. They are long gone. The poster has been there for... Why doesn't anyone take it down? In five years, the circus will come again. That makes sense. Locked. Are these your... Why, no. That's me in various states of... Oh, and which one? So, on the left picture, I'm slightly upset. And on the right, very thoughtful. Why, of course? How did I miss that? Good day. Good day, sir. Would you like to buy some... May I ask? I'm Volduk, and I'm an antique dealer by profession. My name is Nelson. I'm by profession uh, a kind of cook. I see. What kind of antiques do you deal in? Classical furniture and historical books. You also buy goods? Yes, sure. If you find something interesting, I could take a look at it. Why do you use a... Well, I have a visual defect in one eye. And what about the other eye? That is made of glass. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I must be off. See you soon. I don't need to cut a knife cut. Are you supposed to eat straight from the table here? Mm. They are definitely good day. Hey there. Is this the public canteen? Nonsense, this is a private kitchen. That's interesting. If you want, you can look around here, but don't touch anything, got it? Hey, don't worry. Who are you? I'm the cook here, you smarty pants. And indeed the personal cook of antique dealer Volduk. What are you cook? Soup. The guy always wants soup. A special soup? He does not care. Currently, it is a herbal soup. I'll be on my way. See ya. Who can eat that much soup? Ouch! Hey, thank What I wanted to ask. I don't have time for you, right? A map of the island. For sale. Luxurious country house with a spectious outhouse. At the asking price of 3 million gold pieces. Company? Ogre Real Estate. Well, that is a steal. The lamp does not work anymore. Hey, there's a key hidden here. Locked. Unlocked. An old book? I'm sure no one needs it anymore. The fireplace has not been used for a long time. 
The windows are quite dirty. Uncle Sid would feel at home here. This is a loo, but I don't have to go. A piece of wood, you know. We are on strike. The union of the seven draws agreed on a three-day warning strike yesterday evening. We ask for understanding. I can certainly use it. The wagon is filled up to the brim, but nobody seems to work here anymore. The gold nugget was too high for the dwarves, but unfortunately, I can't get it out with my fingers. With a wobbly handle it does not work. I gotta fix the pickaxe somehow. Nothing happens. Done. Now I can buy a lot, uh, or at least I hope so. Hi. Hi there. How much do three? What? What are you said? Body parts. What? There must be. Uh, how? Do you see a graveyard? Okay, I understand. Every now and which? I still have a cool. I always want the gold from the mine. I. I'll have a. Have. Are you still selling that comic book for a gold nugget? Sure do. Thank you. Awesome, this is my Captain Cold Saw vs. Dr. S the first issue. With a belt? A piece of wood. Who knows what I can do with it? An old book which was probably forgotten during the move. My goodness, it's full of rubbish. I'm sure no one will miss it. The candle in the grave lantern has gone out. Maybe I can still use it. Maybe I can use this herb growing here in the moonlight. Hello, cat. Not you again. Hey, cat, I know you. Yes, I'm... Say, why are you hanging around the cemetery? I could ask you the same thing. Seriously now? I'm a cat. We always like to hang around at night somewhere. I'll go again. Well, finally. Very funny. I have an old book here. Is that valuable? Let me see. Excellent. It seems to be a book with historical value. And what can I get for it? I can give you a gold coin for it. That's great. Oh, could you tell the cook that I would like to have a bowl of soup? Browsing through old books always makes me so hungry. Sure can. Here's a bowl for the soup.
Nothing happens. Maybe I should season the soup a little bit first. If I throw the plant in the soup in one piece, it will take too long to dissolve. That does not work. Nothing happens. That does not work. That does not work. I don't need to cut anything. Nothing happens. I am supposed to eat straight from the table. Good day. Hey there. What are you? Soup. Special soup. He does not care. Currently, it is a... I'll be on my way. See ya. Mm. They are definitely not. Who can eat that much? Maybe I should season the soup a little bit first. If I throw the plant in the soup in one piece, it will take too long to dissolve. Nothing happens. A mortar, something like this is useful for processing ingredients. I would like to buy the mortar. One gold coin. Thank you. Enjoy it. Nothing happens. Now I have ground the plant. A small wooden ball can certainly be very useful. Now the candle is lit again. Hopefully I did not burn the suit. I have only the one. Maybe the soup should be seasoned a little. I better not try this one. I would definitely not eat the soup. The cook gave me a bowl of soup for you. Thank you very much. I will have the soup as soon as you are gone. Here's the glass eye. It must be rolled out when he threw up. I feel a little guilty after all. But I can't take the eye away so easily. Here's the glass. It must be rolled. I feel a little guilty up. But I can't take the eye away so easily. Hmm. That does not That does not work. Nothing happened. Good day. Hey there. I'll be on my way. See ya.
Nothing happens. Oh man, how Oh man, how self absorbed. Nothing happens. That should bring some light into the darkness. Nothing happens. As if I had not already dug enough graves in the last game. Now this desecration of graves has got to stop. There's only a small vessel in the grave. The grave is empty. An eye aquarium. They are not for. Too bad. Good day. Hi. You have re. Are you hit? Eh, uh, I mean. Uh, oh, so that. No, no. Haha, <laughs> just. See ya. Ciao. Nothing happened. Now I have a real wooden eye. Here's the glass. It must be rolled out. I, but I could rip. I'm sure you won't know the diff. This could work. The glass eye will hardly stand out among the others. At least I hope so. An eye aquarium. They are not for to bed. That does not work. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Hey, you there! What? There's a part. I can't join the. You can come back. Crap. The potion of transparency. Surely just a fit. But there's only one way to. F this really worked. And I don't even have a shed. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have gotten a potion that can undo the effect again. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The party is in the dining room. Please go straight through the door, sir. The Lord on a fishing. The Lord fishing. Probably another un. Is that. Is she already under? A lot of fishing. Tr a mountain. A boar.
a lot of fish. Cool shirt. What hand is he trying to hold a drink? How do you act? Oh, we are just pretending. Good evening. A very good. Are you the host? Yes, of course. I am Lord Sausage. Welcome to the annual party. You have a rather unusual name. But the name has a long tradition. My family has made sausage for many generations. And now they don't? No, we have switched to region products. It's funny times, isn't it? Indeed. What do you actually do when you're not partying? I'm a passionate fisherman and I read quite a lot. Mostly I read while fishing comics. Comics? Yes, my favorite series is Captain Cold's Law vs. Dr. Sausage. Do you know it? Why, of course. I'm, I'm going to get... Sure, why don't you try the Bloodfall cocktail? I have here first edition of Captain Cold's Law vs. Dr. Sausage. Fantastic! May I purchase the edition? Of course. Thank you. I hope this bag of gold coins will satisfy you. I'd rather not talk to him. I better not walk around anywhere else in the state. That could lead to slight the potion of transparency, surely, but there's only one way to better not hear. The potion of transparency, but there's only one way to better not hear. Luckily, the potion works only a limited time. A glass of horse vomit. And I thought horses couldn't. I would like to buy the vomit. It costs a bag of money. Thank you. Enjoy it. Potion of trans, but there's only one way to this really. And wait a minute. Nothing happened. There's a safe behind it. There's a scroll in the safe, I better take it. I wonder if this is the right recipe. A 
that does not work. Finally, the recipe. A recipe for magic pie. I hope I can win the competition. Ingredients, one eye, bone meal and vomit. Whew, luckily the potion works only. Hi there. It's good to I have the recipe. Great. Then let me know when you have found all the ingredients. I'll be on my way. Good. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Horse vomit. And I thought, I wonder if this is an ingredient. A big bone. Hopefully from. Hi there. It's good to see. I have the. Great. Then let me know when you have found all the ingredients. The I'll be on my way. Good luck. That does not work. A recipe for me. I hope I can win the competition with it. Ingredients. One eye, bone meal and vomit. That does not work. Nothing happened. That does not work. That does not work. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. A recipe for magic po I hope I can win the ingredients one eye bone meal and vomit that would be an ingredient for the magic soup that does not work nothing happens hi there it's good I have all the ingredients then we should leave but before that we have to make a little stop I knew it. What are we doing here in this temple complex? We still need the magic soup spoon. Are you serious? According to a legend, the holy soup spoon is hidden here in the temple complex. The holy soup spoon? I know. It's a pretty stupid name. Maybe the developer was drunk or something. Perhaps he was. I'm Nelson and I'm passing through. And you are? I am Professor Silophon, and I am investigating this temple comp- Xylophon? Like the instrument? Yes, but most of my students just call me Professor X. How old is this temple comp- Not very old, but I would like to upgrade it a bit. Why is that? Well, I place artifacts here myself, and at the same time, write down everything about- In many hundreds of years, no one will have to look for them anymore. Oh, then it's not really real. Who cares about that? I have to go. See you later.
Someone has left a stone wheel here. I can certainly still use that. Stone wheel fit. The compartment is open. The flap is now open, but there's nothing in it. The flap is now open, but there's nothing in it. Here's a platform for boring. Here's a platform for boring. That does not work. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. The compartment is all. That does not work. Did you know that the compartment in the altar room is empty? You mean the one where the holy soup spoon is supposed to be? Yes, exactly. But of course, I took it out a long time ago. What? I just misplaced one of the stone wheels. I noticed. If you want, you can have the soup spoon. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. It's just a stupid soup spoon anyway, right? Hello, Ludmilla. Do you have... Of course I do. Then we can fly to the competition. Hey, there's a woodpecker sitting on top of the airship. Uh-oh. We are lucky to have survived that. Why is that, Nelson? I've crashed a lot of time in this thing. Oh yes? Was the airship also upside down in the sea afterwards? Um, not really. At least we could forget about the competition. You should try to think more positively, Nelson. You really should, sir. After all, there are still plenty of ways to die. I am so glad to be traveling with you. Hello. Good day. Are you disappointed that we survived the crash? Of course not, sir. I'm just disappointed that you survived it. How nice. Somebody's got to bury you, sir. Do you have any tips for me how to survive this adventure? Sure do. I just can't share them with you, sir. And why not? It will help you live longer, sir. Well, I'd better be off. And I always look for danger, sir. Hello, Sid. Hey, Nelson. Are you all right? Well, you are in good mood. Why not? We are at the beach and I have something to barbecue. What more can a man want in life? That makes sense to me. Do you have any idea how to get out of here? Swimming. Swimming? Yeah, sure. Isn't that a bit far? No, we just swim to the airship and turn it around. 
Then we can use the ship as a normal ship. Without sails? We'll just paddle with our hands. How are we going to do that? We just need to strengthen ourselves first. Why do you just think I'm here providing food? A great plan, Sid. That's what I said. I'll look around here. See you later, Ned. Hey, Sid, what are you roasting over the fire? Oh, I don't know. It was running around here. Hi. You have survived the... I guess we can... Cheer up, Nelson. We can still make it to the... And how? By growing wings? Good idea, Nelson. All we need is the blood of an ogre and a dragon skin. What? <laughs> no, just kidding. If a boat doesn't come by here soon... You sure can make a man hopeful. What are we going to do now? Maybe we can hitchhike across the sea. And how are the chances of that? I thought so. I'll have a look around. A rope can always come in handy. Hello, cat. Not you again. How did you get here? We cats no secret pass. Can you find a way out of here? Yeah, so great gallows for you up ahead. Very funny. I'll go again. Well, finally. If this supposed to scare people off, it is certainly not a good advertisement for a kiosk in the swamp. Fly for sightseeing here in the swamp. One of them has a headline. A beautiful landscape to immerse yourself in. Very funny. <laughs> that slogan was my idea. Nice poster, but why are they looking for Pinocchio? Are you kidding? With every lie the boy grows wood out of his nose. So what? That little fellow is the poorest cash cow for the timber trade. Good day. Good day, sir. Why did you open a store in the middle of a swamp? Well, I have no competition here. But certainly no customers either. Every now and then an airship crashes nearby. I'd not think of this clientele. What can I buy in this store? We offer wood deliveries. Why wood deliveries? It is very difficult to get dry wood here. I see. But why do people need dry wood? To make fire or to buy a raft. And what does it cost? 200 gold pieces for a pile of dry logs. Unfortunately, I don't have that much with me. No problem. You can also buy on account. Gladly. I only need your first name. My name is Sid. Very good. Where should I have the wood delivered? Uh, to the beach. Of course. Your delivery is on the way. Thank you. I have to thank. I have to go now. Please try not to sink in before you buy something here. You can order locks here. Sure can. This is even our main source of... Why is that? There are people who buy a raft with it. Surely no one needs this. Please don't be surprised. I have very big... Ouch! If this... Is this supposed? Is this supposed? That does not work.
nothing happens. This should suffice as firewood, but maybe I can use the wood in another. I have an idea. The mast would be important. We already have a mast, but something is still missing. Hi. You have so I'll have a look. Have. We won't get far with the airship. Luckily we survived the crash. How's that lucky? I knew he'd put his two cents in. Hello, Sid. Hey, Nelson. Hey, Sid. You don't happen to have anything that we can use as a sail? Try these underpants. Who are the giant underpants from? From the Miller, of course. I always like to smell them. Oh, uh, thank you. I'll look around. See. A sail is still missing. Now we can start. Just great. We could also have swum these five meters. All because they did not want to get their feet wet. I'm not thirsty. Why is there a simmering cauldron here? I'll check if the cauldron is hot. Uh oh! Oh no, not the bit dimension again. And this time I'm also completely in pixel art. If I ever get my pixelated hands on the developer of this game. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the developer. The Baron. You organized that competition. Sure did, Nelson. And you fell for it. Now you too can rot here in the 8-bit dimension. Have fun! What a bummer. I have to get out of here somehow. Again a wanted person. This time a king. Why do they always run away? It seems that the dismantling of these blocks is forbidden here. I see only very cloudy pixel water. Hello, what are you doing? Hi there. I'm hanging around here because I don't have a job. Have you lost your job? No, I didn't get it in the first place. What job are you talking about? I wanted to work in the dwarf mine, but I'm too big for them. Why don't you get another job? What? This is my dream job. I always wanted to work as a dwarf in a mine. But you are too big. I feel discriminated against in my civil rights. Understand. Are you waiting for anything here? Sure am. I'm waiting for the host to finally serve me a dessert. A main course without dessert isn't a real meal, is it? Do you have a special request? I don't really care if it's chocolate pudding or a sweet dessert. Goodbye. See ya. Candles on the table. Do you have non-alcoholic cock? Are you kidding me? What can I drink at your place? Nothing! 
It's all in that cellar, and it's full of rats. What do a few rats in the basement have to do with it? The rats are almost two meters tall. I see. You look like an adventurer. Won't you squash them for me? Me? Yes, then you can have all the food and drinks you want. I have no weapon. Here, take my sword. It's sharp as a pixel razor. I have to go. See you around. The bottles on the shelf? Strange. There's no single bottle. Shut up! Not everyone can... Locked. 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 I see only Left leads to Berlin. That does not work. Hey. Do you two live? Where else would Yonder live? Makes sense. You have decorated this place quite nicely. Thank you. We have tried to make it as colorful as possible. You have succeeded quite well. What do you do as an undead all day? So we want to play a round of pedagogy's poker. But it's too dark. All the candles are burned out. What is pedagogy's poker? We were teachers in our life before death. And really good ones. And what does that have to do with poker? We educate each other while playing. And it works very well. Would you like to play? Hmm, maybe another time. We still need candles or a lantern anyway, so that we can see the cards before our eyes. What do you do as an undead all day? So we want to play. And we end it. Would I have to go. See you around. And how is it? A little haggard. Got it. How is it going? Do you want to disturb me here at my picnic? Why no? Good, otherwise I'd have to behead you. Oh, with what? Hmm, you don't happen to have a sword or an axe with you, do you? I'm afraid not. I'd give you a jar of gem for it. Why do you- As a small pixel dwarf, you have to be able to hold your own in the world of big pixels. I understand. Do you often have- Yes, we dwarves have organized ourselves into the union and thus enforced the five-day month. You mean a five-day week? Why no, we work only five days a month. I'm not stupid and work five days a week. Okay. 
I have to go. See you later. Great. Thank you. Now I can finally behead my mother-in-law. What? Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. Here, a jar of jam as a thank you. Pixelated like this, the bark looks kind of weird. The bartender gave me this fruity dessert for you. Really? Thank you. Uh. Yummy. You can have the empty jar back. Candles on the tables. How cozy. Candles on the table. I have to see you around. That does not work. Goodbye. See ya. Nothing happened. Nothing happens. Tap into the pixelated war. So now I've captured the un hopefully that will teach him a lesson. What are you? I'm a forest light. What's a forest light doing? Shut up, just because. It's okay, why so upset? Because you dumb pixel asses get on. A beautiful view. Yeah. Hey, the view is there for everyone. I'll blind you right now, so you'll be blind. I have to see ya. The view is really nice. Oh cool, a forest light, thanks. Now we can finally play poker again. You're welcome. I'm glad to be rid of the forest light. As a thank you, I can give you an old book we don't need anymore. A book about teleporting to high resolution dimensions. Yes, we don't need it anymore. We like it much better in 8-bit. The people in full HD are totally snobbed anyway. Oh yes, you still need the potion for dimension teleportation. I know, it's a mouthful. Try to say it ten times in a row. And how does that work exactly? It's all in the book. A book about teleporting to high resolution dimensions. It says I need a magic potion, which I should pour into a bath tube full of water. Where can I find a bath tube full of water? I hope this works. Hey, what are you doing? Getting out of here, what else? No!
Pooh, finally in full HD again. What happened, Nelson? The Baron has organized this competition as a trap for me. What did he want? I was supposed to be stuck in the Abit dimension just like him. But I managed to escape and I'm safe and sound. Too bad. I would have liked to bury someone. I knew you would. So what we do now, Nelson? Let's go home. <laughs>